Lauren realized that her story could actually help educate others. I want to hopefully um, bring more awareness to TSS, but to also uh, bring safer, affordable alternatives um, and allowing young girls to be more aware of what they're putting inside of their bodies. We're all women, we all have this issue, um, and we want to be safe. Over the past 50 years or so, the composition of tampons has changed from natural ingredients to synthetic ones, especially among the big tampon companies. And the synthetic materials, along with tampons absorbency, uh, makes for an ideal environment for staph bacteria to grow. The vagina is the most absorbent part of a woman's body, and if any of those toxins get inside of your bloodstream, it's dangerous. Girls always associate it with leaving it in too long, and, and that's the biggest misconception. And if you look in the box, it's like chlorine, bleach, rayon, and it says etc. What does etc. mean? And then again, we're putting this in the most absorbent part of our body. I think we should be able to know that and what's, what's actually going in these products. Lauren's even been working with a New York Congresswoman, Carolyn Maloney, to get a bill passed that requires tampon companies to disclose what's in the product and to hopefully make a safer product. I think it's only fair giving us an option and I really hope a lot of women will wake up and, and read this bill that we've been trying to pass and speak up because I think that's the only way is if we just keep fighting. This has been an epidemic for almost 30 years. We can do better than this and I think we as women should demand it.